Yeah, we're here at the uh, Champions Rod Day um, from Freestone, my national. Uh, it actually went great. Uh, the kids seemed like they really enjoyed the track. It was uh, prepped pretty good. We got a rain about two days earlier, so it made it really good. And uh, the turnout was more than last year. It's hard because a lot of these kids, you know, to come down here, you got to basically take off two weeks if they go to the mini O. So uh, it's a little tough for their parents financially wise, but the, the turnout to see all these kids come down here has been good. Also cool to see how fast they are. Uh, it seems like every year they just get faster and faster and uh, it's, it's cool to be a part of and cool to see it. Spring Championship every year has been growing. Of course, this is this will be the fifth year coming in 2015, and with that, uh, we hope that we continue to grow. It continues to grow by double digits, uh, so it's an amazing feat that we keep trying to surpass ourselves. I guess uh, that's really the goal. No telling what we can do in 2015. Here at James Stewart's house, the families seem to at the end of the day they want to come up to you and they want to tell you thanks and you know really they're the ones that dedicated themselves to their kids and dedicated their time to come here so it's it's really not about thanks to the Stewart family or to us at Freestone it's it's really thanks about them and participating because we want to see them come back every year and every year the participation keeps growing and growing here at the Champions Ride Day just like at the Spring Championship so I think that the most important part is, is that when champions get to see how champions live, how champions practice, this is when they know they've got to make it to that next step and that next level. That's what we try to do with the spring championship, with time practice. James wanting everybody to come here and, you know, be a part of it. And that's, that's an important thing to those riders as they're growing up. James never had that opportunity. Now these riders have got that opportunity, and I think that's an important part of this. Well, for me, the, the Freestone National has been great. Um, it's, it's, it's helped me out to, to meet a lot of different kids, and, and especially with Seven, um, you know, to be able to see the kids that we have and check out new talent, um, it's, it's been great. And the help of Tom Shields and everybody from Freestone, it's, it's, the event's just getting bigger and bigger. And, uh, you know, I got some great sponsors that, you know, helped the event out that was prior to it. And, you know, for me, it's just having my name on something like that is kind of a dream come true because, you know, to have my own amateur national where I started at is kind of unbelievable. And, and to see the turnout and to see more people come, it's, uh, it's good. So to me, I hope it goes on for the next 100 years past when I'm gone and stuff. Uh, but I, I want to be a part of it and keep growing it. Well, the spring championship's coming up real soon. It's March. 16th through the 21st here coming in 2015 right around the corner so we'll be training uh, down in texas hosting the ama texas winter series a lot of riders will be coming down to train during that it's going to be a good time and we look forward to having everybody back in texas at freestone and we'll just have a good old time that's all <laughs>